our Ministry of Health and Sport has announced that outbreak of the vaccine drive poliovirus infection uh, as an additional public health emergency on 12 of July 2019, immediately after the detection of in this case of the uh, two years old boy from the Pan Township, uh, which is the in the part of the Kian State, and that Kian State is bordering with the Thailand. As soon as we have announced it as public health emergency, the series of preventive measures and responsive activities we are carried out by Ministry of Health and Sports and Green Public Health Department in accordance with the updated SOPs of the GBER, that is Global Polio Eradication Initiatives. First, we sent an Aisha notification to WHO and Aisha focal point of Thailand, Megam Basin Disease Surveillance Network to do necessary preventive measure, surveillance measures and outflow response activities along the border. At the same time, we updated the additional polio outbreak preparedness plan and responsive plan and we also activated the public health emergency operating centers at the central and state and regional level to do the effective incident management. So also risk assessment was conducted by the WHO regional office both in the field and in the central level. And the team concluded that the overall risk of the initial spread of the outbreak was moderate because of the uh, suboptimal vaccine coverage in the affected areas and the free population movement across the border. We also have done close collaborations and strong cooperation with the other relevant ministries, state governments, local organizations to do the immediate response activities, including security measure as a priority issue. We also developed the dealer risk uh, communication messages in local language and we spread these messages to the community and the international travelers. We also enhanced the sensitivity of the AFV surveillance all over the country by increasing the non-polio AFV target from 2 by 100,000 to more than 3 by 100,000 children of under 15 years of age. At the same time, we strengthened the routine immunization activities and we decided to do and conduct the two rounds of SIAs, that is the supplementary immune immunization activities in 12 high-risk townships, including all seven townships in the Kien, three townships in Moon, and two townships in Bogu. Round zero was started 14 days after the detection of the virus, and then round one was conducted after 14 days of the round zero. During the SIA implementations, active case search for the EFP was also carried out in Papon area. Reported coverage of the vaccination were reported as 90% uh, for round zero and 87% for round one. Our Ministry of Health and Sports also coordinates the polio vaccination activities uh, at the all entry points of the country, especially in the Thailand and Myanmar border. And in addition to that, we have done all necessary arrangements for resource mobilizations and logistic management. We are fully committed to prevent the future outbreak and stop the transmissions of this vaccine drive polio virus infection in the regions by the, uh, using the SOP of the GBEI. We have a str several strategies to prevent the future outbreak. First strategy is to improve the immunity profile of the community in all high-risk areas. To do so, we are going to conduct a two-large uh, immunization campaign uh, in that affected areas and other high-risk areas of 96 townships. The first large-scale campaign will, was already conducted last week of the August, and second uh, large-scale campaign will be conducted in October and November together with the measles and rubella immunization campaign. We are also going to enhance our uh, routine immunization activities to cover all the geographical area by involvement of the ethnic health organizations and local governments. And because these ethnic health organizations are they are easy to get access to the government and control area. And we are going to enhance the EFV surveillance system, which is the gold standard surveillance systems and environmental surveillance system in all parts of our country. So these are the measures we are going to take to prevent the further outbreak of the polio infection. That's all.